Hey everybody, this is Foster Runner Films uh, here. Um, today I am doing a tutorial episode or first tutorial on Petite Computer. This is a program that allows you to program in basic, the basic language. Um, this is just the main deal. So you're gonna you're gonna want to tap edit. So today we're just going to make a simple Hello World pr uh, program. And it's not going to be too long, so first we're going to put, or, yeah, we're going to put print, and then parentheses, and put in whatever, and whenever you do this, you're going to want to put in anything that you can imagine, so we're just going to, since we're doing Hello World, we're just going to put Hello World, wait, sorry, World. And in parentheses, you don't even have to do that sometimes, but it's, you know, just common sense. So then you're going to go to run and type and run. Or you can click it up there. And it'll say hello world and the program will end. So let me show you how that will look like. I'm just going to put T-U-T -T for tutorial. And it'll make this an obnoxious sound. And that means the program is saved. So we will shall view it in the gallery. S T U T, and as you can see, I'll quickly glance, go over the screen, and you can, won't be able to see anything. So then now we're gonna load the tutorial and back up, so we can allow it to do, wait, or so you can actually see what it says. So we're going to want to type in wait. And for some reason, it goes in intervals of 60. So if you type in 60, that's going to be one second. So we want, I'm going to type in 1800 or 8 or 180. Uh, and that's how long we'll wait. But we can also change the color. So that's what we're going to do also. Sorry, I'm left handed. Let me put my other hand here. So we're going to want it to have a different color. So we're going to type in color. And I don't know all the color numbers. So I just usually type in a random number that I think I like. And then we can also put a beep in there. My favorite beep is, of course, beep 4. Because for some reason my numbers, my lucky numbers are 3, 4, 11, and 64. But, so... That's what we're going to do, and we can also have it say something else at the end. So we're, we'll do print again, and we'll say end, so we'll know when it's over. So now let's do run. I can do it right there. So now it's neon green, hello world, end. That's all there really is to it whenever you're using this. Um... So now I'm going to show you how to make an, another program. Oh, one sec. All right. So we're going. We'll delete all this, and you can use if you're using my DS. You can if you're using a DS, you can just press the Y button, and it'll do, just go back. And you can even capitalize it, and it'll go away. So now we're going to make it whenever for whenever you press a button, it says "Hello World." So what you're going to order if you say something. So I guess I'll start off with whenever you say something. So you're going to press, put input, input, uh, parentheses, and say, we're going to go ahead and say, uh, what is, whoops, your name and it usually puts it puts a question mark on the end automatically and so what you're going to want to do is put the semicolon and say whatever the label is name and remember to put the dollar sign if you don't put the dollar sign it'll just pretend that it's numeric code and you won't get anything out of it so then you're going to put want to put dollar sign, or, wait, no, that's wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, dang it, how do you do this again? Okay, what you're gonna do, wanna do, is put, uh, 
print. Sorry, I forgot to set the print for a minute. Print parentheses or print name dollar sign. I'm gonna make sure this works. Sorry, I kind of forgot how to do this. So my name is Elliot, and that's all. How okay, so it was right. All right, and so we so what we're going to do is make it for whenever it says that it says it has a beep. And we're going to say beep 5. And then it beeps whenever you input your name. So, let's go ahead and clear the page. Which is just CLS. No, oh, I still have the color on. But it normally won't do that, but... So, E-L-I-O-T. And there we go. You already have a program. And then what you want to do, if you want it, if you don't want it to ha have just that, we're going to say wait. And I always do, I normally do 300 just to be safe. I know it's a while, but it's just one of my favorite things to use. And so now we're going to say go to app loop. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Um... What that does is it'll go back to whatever, wherever you say it for it to go to. At loop will be the very first thing. And so then it will progress from at loop, which is the very beginning, and it'll print input, what is your name? After you put in your name, it'll beep, and it'll wait 30, or it'll wait 300 intervals, and then it'll repeat. So that's how that works, and now we shall... Go back, save our file as T-U-T, and it'll just overwrite the file if you didn't have it before. And so view gallery, tutorial, what is your name? I didn't have a color, I'm sorry, but, oh, I'm putting in the wrong thing. So we're just going to say my name is 123, because I'm lazy, and I'll enter that. And it'll repeat. And you can do whatever you want with it. You can tell it to, um, you can say that you want it to beep after it says what is your name, or after it, re after it repeats, you can make it beep so you know it's something new. But really, that's just how you make a basic, basic program. <laughs> no, it sounds ridiculous, but that's all you have to do, really. And you can see my hair up there, but... Sorry about that. Anyway, that's all I have to share with you today. Next time, I will start on the buttons. Alright, thank you.